there guys welcome back uh, as you can see today I've got a, a 55 gallon drum and I'm going to show you how to make a tumbling composter um, the one thing you'll notice with this drum is I don't waste time getting the drums uh, that have the the full lid I get the removable lid uh, just saves you time from having to, to make a hinged port for the composter not that those are bad but uh, I think these are really the nice ones uh, for composters um, but anyway, so I'm going to use this barrel. It has a locking ring around it. Um, I'm going to use a fence pipe as my pivot point. Um, some PVC to add aeration in, the, in there, but I'll show you that later. Uh, and then just two 10 foot long uh, two by six boards. Uh, both of these boards will uh, make the whole frame. Uh, it's just like the other one that you've seen in one of my earlier videos, except for that one I didn't uh, show you how to make it. I just showed you the composter. So. Let's get to cutting, and uh, I'll, sh I'll kind of show you uh, uh, how the frame goes together. And also another thing, if you're a local person, uh, the guy I get my barrels and IBC totes and all those kind of things from is uh, a guy by the name of Justin Laboa. Uh, he has a company called Maya Renewable Industries down here in Tucson in southern Arizona. He does solar, wind, uh, water harvesting, all sorts of projects in case. Uh, I'll have a link down below in case uh, you want to get a, uh, any of these barrels from him. So. Hold on, we'll get cut. portion of this uh, we need to have holes for our uh, our little axle uh, pipe to go through so basically you'll find your halfway point and then what I like to do is look along the seams here there's gonna be one seam on either side uh, they're molding seams so just find that that's gonna be exactly halfway on either side and then we'll just drill our hole make sure it's the same hole as your uh, as the pipe that you're using Okay, so after you drill your side holes for your uh, little pivot pipe, the next thing we're gonna do is use some PVC uh, couplings or uh, fittings. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is fit a threaded one. Um, it doesn't really matter what size, whatever size you can get is fine. This is a uh, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, something like that. I've just uh, reamed out this hole a little bit so this flanged end uh, will uh, fit a little bit better. But uh, you're going to fit that in, we're going to put another piece on the inside, and then you're going to have a, a, a pipe with a cap on it, and it's going to have holes, and that's going to allow a little bit more airflow to go through the compost. <laughs> So here's the uh, finished product. I uh, just got a little coat of linseed oil on the frame. Um, and then I don't believe I showed, uh, but I just drilled a series of holes in the top and the, uh, 
the sides there you'll see I don't do too many down here uh, we're in a dry environment and that's probably the only difference between this and uh, say like a, a Seattle area obviously wetter environment you want more holes um, and more airflow probably uh, but here uh, this this seems to be about enough that works uh, but anyway I'll just spin it just so you can see it spins pretty freely obviously once there's a uh, compost in there it's not going to spin as nice but uh, works pretty well and then uh, I'll stop it right there you can see there's the little airflow a uh, little area just to let a little bit more air into the uh, the compost so that's about it anyway um, I won't take the lid off you saw it before but uh, just real easy locking ring to do it so anyway guys uh, as always thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time